This programme contains strong language and sexual references throughout. But I'm good to the last drop. Zone act up. More than you can fathom. Make everybody pack up. Oh my God, party! If you got it, they'll want it. Now flaunt it. Slay. If they like it, they'll love it. Now own it. <laughs> this kitty cat is on the prowl. <laughs> if you like it, work. If you got it, if I'm not getting mouth to mouth <gasps> eaten tonight, off with his head, and we're not talking okay. about the one on the shoulders. Oh! <laughs> Look, I am jumping down the rabbit hole tonight. Who are we jumping down the rabbit hole with? You'll have to find. <laughs> Jenny! Yeah, baby. You see what I'm working with here? Right now, you can't even do that to me. You can't even do that to me. In French, we say uh, "cholapan," <laughs> which means uh, "horny bunny." Cholapan. <laughs> oh and I was trying to restrain myself because mom's gonna want to watch, but fuck, I just couldn't. Then I just kind of like had a little steamy moment. Exactly, and I'm, I'm drinking it. Are we gonna shrink? I'm gonna grow. Oh, got a little CC could potentially be my perfect match. She's a lot like myself, whereas in the outside world, I'm a one track guy. Like, I don't have girls after girls after girls on the go. Like, I can only focus like on one at a time. I think things are gonna get a little knot here tonight. <laughs> There definitely is chemistry, yeah. but you could still be Clay's match tomorrow and you could leave the villa. This is my first date and I have been looking so forward to these dates and first person I pick fucking acts like that. Disrespected, used, and I just feel why? Why did I even bother? I don't want to go on a date with her. <laughs> well, we need to go. Guys, we'll see you later. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Party was absolutely insane. We're not letting you kill the vibe of the party. We gonna have a fucking ball. I'm trying to flirt with this one, I'll be honest with you. We're just a little bit low-key. Yeah. I am attracted to Nathan. That's not really a surprise. The vibe is a bit better than good. And I'm happy. I'm super happy with this. So I think we're gonna have some fun together. Gross. We had a kiss. I could be more physical with Nathan, but I just want to hold back for now. Oh, my God. They kissed each other. What the fuck, man? I feel so used. You're not messing I got my first fucking date after picking her up out of the trenches. Where are you going now? Are you to the boom boom room again. Yeah, that's what I'm not, I'm not. Yeah. Where are you going? No, I just need privacy. She's going to the boom boom room. I like what I like, and that's not really going to change. Oh, fucking hell, Mikey. And it's, no, we're not, we're not doing that. If I knew that in the future that that was going to happen tonight, her all over Mikey, I would never have picked her. Mikey, that's a confident motherfucker, right? Like, she's. How's Clay this morning? He's good, he'll be fine. I think she's in for a bit of a rude awakening. He's like, I have butterflies for you. Oh. He, that was in his speech. We can press rewind if she'd like to hear. She's got a cute smile, and uh, some little butterflies have been starting to grow a little bit. 
Clay was feeling very upset about what happened with Sissy. He was like, why would Sissy do this to me? I've picked CC for a date, and it's my first date, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. And then she goes and hooks up with Mikey, and I feel like a bit of an idiot for asking her. Can I have a moment, man? Oh, please. I was going to wait till the date for this. Uh, yeah, I was going to too, and then I realized maybe we should actually just do this before the date. Mm. So I feel used, I do, because of building you up from that Brendan scenario back then. You've come out of your shell, but me, and we've had a slow growth. Someone that I care about. But you did not me. express this to me. I don't need to. Yes, until, you do. Not until I'm ready. But you cannot get mad at me then for not knowing. This is what you're saying right now. You're not taking accountability in the fact that you did not express yourself. This is a trigger, and this is something I came into the house and I didn't want, and it's happened. And you can say I'm putting it on you because, yes, that's the person I've been showing interest in. I'm sorry, but that's true. CC triggered a past in me that's happened before with previous relationships. He's making it seem like I'm the bad guy when it's like you're sitting here literally saying, I don't need to express my feelings. Well, then, sorry, sir. How the fuck am I supposed to know feelings were there? Obviously, I'm annoyed. Like, I am annoyed. I never intended to hurt you. I thought it was a different type of connection, and I thought that I made it clear. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't. I just don't see it on a romantic level. I'm making that clear now. Yep. I think we could still have a great day if you want to. Can we go like in the shade or something? Yeah. He's gonna act like a baby. I understand you have your past trauma and all, but I'm not your girlfriend. I don't owe you anything. 